Hey guys, How Tuman here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick way to save battery life with your Android device. So this tutorial is good for dual core and quad core devices and if you have a single core device there's ways to do this too however it's a bit different just because your CPU is not as powerful as the newer phones with dual core or quad core phones. So as you guys can see I use my Galaxy S4 which has a uh, quad core 1.9 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 CPU. So the default settings for this uh, CPU are a minimum of 384 MHz and a maximum of obviously 1.9 GHz CPU. Um, so to tweak this uh, you can change this up and save battery life while you're at it while not sacrificing any performance. So to do this, you want to go into the Play Store, guys. I'll have a link down below. And you want to download an app called Trickster Mod. So as you guys can see, this app is free on the Play Store. Uh, there's a donate version, which you guys can pick up. It's down here. The donate key is $2.86. So basically, once you open up this app, you get all your, kernel, uh, all your device's uh, kernel settings. So you guys can see here that my device has been in deep sleep for 4 hours, so 46% of the time. And it's been at the lowest frequency for 38% of the time, which is 3 hours, so like when I'm listening to music and other stuff. And it's been on the other frequencies quite a bit. However, you notice that the device is not on the top frequencies much at all. So, as you guys can see here, it shows my CPU cores. It shows that most of them are offline, and it shows what my GPU is at. And it shows my battery temperature and the health and all that good stuff. So to modify that, you would switch to the general tab and you could change the I.O. control. So for example, I just keep read over write row. However, many people have said that the best battery life is available on Noop, which is N-O-P-P, or N-O-O-P, which is available at the top. But I like to keep read over write or row just because it's very well optimized and it does well for me. And the stock setting is normally CFQ. I do not remember what that stands for, but it's a pretty good setting too. So what I like to do to save battery is I like to mess with the frequencies and the CPU governor control. So most phones come with their uh, CPU governor as conservative or interactive, and if you have a Galaxy S device, it might come with Pegasus Q, I believe. So I like to use interactive because interactive is a good balance between battery life and performance if set up in the right way. So what I mean is that stock, inter uh, stock interactive, when you go into governor control, will have all these settings minus one. High speed frequency is normally set at 1.13 gigahertz. However, to save battery, I set it at 810 megahertz. So if you have a dual core device, 810 megahertz might cause a little slowness. So you can go a bit higher, such as 918 megahertz, or for in this case, 1.026 gigahertz. However, you got to remember that every CPU is different. If you don't have a Qualcomm CPU, let's say you have an Exynos CPU, the um, clock speeds aren't exactly the same, so there's no 810. I believe for, Qual uh, for Exynos devices, it'd be an 800 megahertz. But as long as it's around that same like range, uh, give or take, the, the, the numbers don't really matter. They perform around the same. So basically, you can click Apply up here. You click the check mark, and it says Apply Successfully. You could also, if you want a bit more performance, like I said, hire it, uh, go to the next step, for, which for me would be 918, which is what I normally keep it at. So if you set it there, you can see that. And you guys know that my CPU, as I told you guys earlier, goes up to 1.9 gigahertz. However, since I am on a quad core device, that is just way too much. I don't really need 1.9 gigahertz because there's no app that utilizes that much uh, that much CPU really. So instead of 1.89, which uh, Samsung rounds up to 1.9 gigahertz, I have mine set to 1.674. And as you guys can see, uh, my, my device performs just fine in all my videos. Everything is snappy, transitions are great. If I open the Play Store, it opens up almost immediately. As you guys can see, all apps open up just fine. There's no lag, I can open up the camera just right there. And as you guys can see, everything works out. There's me. Uh, and you, nothing lags, you can multitask, as you guys can see I have a bunch of apps open, I had Fruit Ninja open earlier, YouTube, Settings, the How To Man app, all that good stuff, and nothing really lags, so if I were to click on Fruit Ninja, 
I can go right into my game. You can see that games don't lag. Everything works just fine. I just hit a bomb, whatever. Uh, so setting these settings won't slow down your device. If you have it, if you do notice that it does slow down your device, you can learn to play with it. So for example, I could set it back up to 1.782 and then click apply. As you can see, I can open up all my apps just fine uh, without any stuttering. Uh, no lag whatsoever in the transition or anything. So guys, basically what this does, um, these settings just help you get a bit more battery life out of your device. If you guys go to check my battery life, we can see that I've been running for 9 hours and 17 minutes. So let's see if you can show that on camera. The screen has been on for 2 hours and 24 minutes. So that's not bad. That's um, pretty good usage. As you guys can see, I've been using Chrome, iFunny, the keyboard. Google services and obviously the other stuff. So as you guys can see, my phone will last me nine hours. So um, and it's barely at 57%. So it could go for like another nine hours and another two hours of screen on and still be fine. So basically, guys, you guys can see that it'll last a whole day on these settings. Now this is a good way to keep your battery life up and there's obviously other things in the app that will help you save battery life. So if you keep scrolling and you go to specific, so this is specific for my device and for my processor you can see I have multi-core settings. So this tries to group tasks into as, many, as least cores as possible. Zero is for disabled and two is for most aggressive. So I like to keep a balance between battery life and performance so I have that set at one and I click apply. So this is, this is a great app to use guys. There's obviously other apps like this in the Play Store. You can get Set CPU, which is paid. There's Voltage Control, which does not do the governor control. However, will allow you to do voltages if you have a custom kernel. However, what I'm showing you guys right now does not require a custom kernel, and it's just a quick way to get better battery life out of your Android device. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thumb give this video a thumbs up. Follow us on Twitter at HowToMen. And follow us on Instagram at HowToMen and like our Facebook page, guys. Kapow!